Violence start to 2020 in Philadelphia. A New Year's Day shooting left a man fighting for his life. Two other shootings turning deadly. One in West Philadelphia, the second in Frankfurt. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live at police headquarters with the details there. Trang. Well, Janelle and Jim, in all, six people were shot across the city on New Year's Day. Three of those people died of their injuries, and so far, police have not made any arrests. Just before noon on New Year's Day, a 41-year-old man became Philadelphia's first homicide victim of the year. Police say the man was shot in the chest and back on Hobart Street near Arch in West Philadelphia. He died at Penn Presbyterian Hospital some 20 minutes later. It's just the first day of the year, and it's really senseless. Um, it's, it's a shame. It's like... Lord, when is it going to stop? Just two hours later, officers responded to a triple shooting on the 4700 block of Griscom Street in Frankfurt. Police say a 24 year old man was shot twice in the chest. They transported him to Jefferson Frankfurt Hospital where he died. A 26 year old man was also shot twice in the chest. He died at Temple University Hospital. The sole survivor, a 36 year old woman, is recovering from gunshot wounds to the arm and hand. Then to North Philadelphia, where a third shooting left a man fighting for his life. It happened on the 2200 block of North Cleveland Street just before 7 p.m. 27-year-old male shot in the head and actually in his eye and shot in the leg. Medics took that 27-year-old victim to Temple Hospital. He is in very critical condition. A 21-year-old man was also shot but is expected to be okay. Now, in 2019, there were 356 homicides across the city of Philadelphia. That was the highest number since 2007. But for now, we're live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Janelle and Jim, back to you. Thank you, Trang.